If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? My name's Obi, and welcome back to the Courtside Financial Podcast, the podcast where we talk about business and technology. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Neo licensing their technology to a British automaking or a British uh, electric vehicle startup. It's going to be a super good, interesting episode. Thank you, Marty, for providing me with the leads and some more information on this. Um, but yeah, before we get into the episode, it's important to make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10K before the year is over. If you could help us out with that, that would be amazing. We'd be ever so grateful. Click the notification bell icon and leave a comment down below. Your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel. And so without further ado, let's get into the episode. So let's start um, with Neo's recent share deal that they did back in December. In December, uh, CYVN and Abu Dhabi backed investment firm had bought 419 million shares from Neo, giving them around a 20% stake in the company. Now, at the time, a lot of people were asking, why does Neo keep on? selling shares to the middle east and another question why is the middle east interested in buying uh into all of these foreign automakers so let's address that before we start talking about four seven the company that uh goes on to license neo's technology so basically the middle east um has a sovereign a sovereign wealth fund that is pretty big pretty substantial the Middle East is cash rich. The sovereign wealth fund is um, built off of oil revenues. So because the Middle East has oil, a crucial, uh, valuable resource, they are cash rich. However, by the same token, they're technology poor. So their motivation for investing into companies like Neo uh, in Abu Dhabi, or we're seeing Saudi Arabia uh, buying into Lucid, and so on and so forth is because they want to diversify their revenue streams that is the primary motivation a lot of the middle east is believing that uh the move to our transition to electric vehicles is certainly eminent and it's going to happen so what's going to happen to their oil revenues when that happens obviously they're going to go down so when you don't have the technology but you have the cash what do you do you pay to uh purchase the technology and that's the theme that we're going to hit on a couple times here in today's video so how does this all relate to 47 so 47 is a company that's beneath cyvn so in other words cyvn owns 47 so we mentioned cyvn made their second investment giving them a 20 percent stake uh, a 20 percent stake in neo back in december while on february 26 it was announced that their company 47 the british automaker is going to be entering into a, or has entered into a licensing deal with Neo where they will use the technology. This is definitely a sign of some strategic planning. So to answer one of the questions that I posed uh, uh, initially, why is CYVN and why are CYVN and Neo um, getting into bed together? This was probably a part of uh, the strategic playbook. Buy into Neo, have access to their technology. Now, some people might say, like, isn't that bad for Neo to license out his technology to put it out there? Well, I kind of disagree. So that's where we have to talk a little bit more about 47. They're a British automotive startup. They aim to compete in a completely different segment than Neo. And I'm sure they'll want to be a global player, but they are in a different market to start up. So the segment that they're trying to play in is the ultra luxury segment. They're going to be um competing with the likes of rolls royce jaguar bentley now while neo is planning to launch a maybach s-class competitor and the et9 uh which is supposed to be uh selling at a price point of 112k uh i wouldn't say that they're in the luxury segment i would say that neo is in just the luxury segment 
and then with their sub brand Anvo and you can even say Firefly that they're planning to roll out those are going to be in the mass market segment for everyday customers who can't really afford a luxury or ultra luxury sedan or uh, SUV so um with 47 licensing neos technology there's obviously some positive implications for both parties involved business is only business when both parties benefit or good business is only good business when both parties benefit right so there's obviously expanded market reach for neo it gives um them the opportunity to tap into uh new markets where 47 is currently operating um, obviously they don't have a product out right now but we're speaking about the future for 47 it allows them to have enhanced product offerings they can use neos technology because like i said middle east um, is uh, cash rich but technology poor but now they can make a better product because they're using that cash to license it from neo so that's obviously going to be financial gains for 47 47 is going to be able to sell more cars and neo is going to be able to uh, obviously benefit from 47 selling more cars because the more cars they're selling the more they'll need to license the technology the more revenue comes back to neo which ultimately uh could greatly benefit the margin and then there's obviously just the principle the principle of partnership um abu dhabi uh the abu dhabi firm mentioned that when they're investing in neo it marks how confident they are in neo as a company and the future of electric vehicles and uh connected technology um and so like i said when you don't have the technology you buy the technology see why um or you pay for the technology cyvn also has a controlling interest in gordon murray technologies now gordon murray tech now gordon murray himself the person is actually a legend in the automotive field with um regards to automotive design and engineering uh particularly around formula one racing Gordon Murray Technologies owns the iStream platform, which is basically making the production process more cost effective and reduces uh, CO2 emissions. 47 Technologies, while there's not a lot of information out around uh, their vehicles or prototypes or uh, just the company in general, they are going to utilize the iStream production process. So they, CYVN acquired Gordon Murray Technologies. Now they're pulling uh, that technology into this automotive, this British uh, automotive startup for seven. So that's another example of when you don't have the technology, you go out and you buy it. Um, at the executive level, all at the executive level, uh, four sevens uh, executive team is comprised of leadership from Jaguar Range Rover. Another thing too that I want to add is that Neo has a strong reputation and brand presence in the Chinese automotive. Um, market not just EV I'll say automotive and so uh, we don't I don't think that we have to really worry about 47 cannibalizing any of their sales in the future and the Chinese um, electric vehicle market is the biggest electric vehicle market in the world overall the partnership with 47 is poised to benefit both parties in the long run it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out Something that I wanted to talk about and we can, and the conversation will go on. I promise you that we'll talk about this more in the future. Um, but I think that it is not an area that many are talking about. So thank you, Marty, for bringing this to my attention. Definitely want to hear your thoughts on 47. How do you think the 47 partnership is going to benefit Neo as a whole? How do you think it's going to uh, benefit 47 as a whole? What do you think about um CYVN having their 20% or 20% ish stake in Neo because it's a little bit more. I think it's 20.1, but I don't have that information in front of me right now. So don't quote me. Um, what do you think about all this? What do you think about the Middle East buying foreign technologies? And um, how do you see them playing into this uh, trend of electric vehicles that is uh, where the writing's kind of on the wall where the world is going to move that way eventually? That's going to be it for this episode. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Click the notification bell icon. And we'll catch you in the next installment. Thanks for watching.